breaking news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Cowboys unapologetic owner just saved NFL from anti-American players with new rule you'll love. And this here is why the Dallas Cowboys are often referred to America's team. In the midst of all that ungrateful anti-American former 49er third string quarterback Colin Kaepernick and others have done politicizing the national anthem into a protest against the police. Jerry Jones, who is the current owner of the Dallas Cowboys football franchise has always been known for taking a hands-on approach when it comes to setting the requirements for the team he owns and those he employs. During this particular year's training camp he made it very clear he expects commitment and loyalty from his each and every players and staff he employs. He happily and forcefully went on to remind everyone present that since he's paying their salaries he can impose whatever code of conduct he wishes and if anyone has a problem with it, then they don't want to be a Dallas Cowboy and they should consider leaving the team and joining another team where they let you disrespect the American flag all you want. Jones is certainly not the only owner in the league who feels this way. But there has been a recent asinine trend of players, coaches, and executives to show some measure of support for players' decisions to express themselves during the anthem in whatever way they see fit. Even if those people lending support wouldn't necessarily choose to express themselves in that way. Keep in mind these players are all multimillionaires and make more money in one year than most of us will see in our entire lifetimes. Briet Bard reports. The National Football League has denied a request by the Dallas Cowboys for players to wear a sticker on their helmets to show support for the Dallas Police Department that lost five officers in one terrible attack last month. The arm-in-arm -arm decal was to have been worn when the team opens its preseason schedule during the upcoming bout with the Los Angeles Rams. But Cowboys executive vice president Stephen Jones told the media that NFL officials said every team must be uniform and the stickers were nixed. Jones said the team will respect their decision and drop the plans to show support for the Dallas PD. The idea for the sticker was spearheaded by Cowboys tight end Jason Witten. The team had hoped the decals would help them stand side by side with the police after a gunman murdered five officers during an ambush and shootout. On July 7, shooter Mark Xavier Johnson ambushed Dallas police as a Black Lives Matter protest march wound down, killing five and injuring nine others. The attack was the deadliest single incident for law enforcement in history excluding the disastrous terror attacks on September 11, 2001 when 72 officers died. While disappointed, the Dallas Police Department thanked the team for the sentiment. We appreciate the support of the Cowboys organization and its players, a statement from the DPD said. Their concern for the families of our fallen officers, the Dallas Police Department, and the city of Dallas is what matters most, and we know that support will continue for the immediate and long-term future. But a representative of the Dallas Fallen Officer Foundation was much less forgiving of the NFL's decision. The NFL is in a very influential position and has the ability to evoke change, raise awareness and show its support for law enforcement by making the decals available to all NFL teams, Dallas Fallen Officer Foundation President and Dallas PD Sergeant Demetric Penny told Briet Bart Texas. The officer added that the Professional Football League missed an opportunity to facilitate positive change as well. Dallas Morning News sports columnist Tim Callishaw applauded the decision, however, noting that the NFL was wise not to open a political door when honoring fallen officers. The Dallas paper columnist added in a live chat regarding the decision, if you allow that, do you allow decals saying Black Lives Matter? Pro-life? Pro-choice? Repeal Obamacare? John 316? Where does it end? I think there's a place for protest and there's a place to honor victims in different ways. Sergeant Penny strongly disagreed, noting that honoring police should be held above the political fray. That statement is, unbelievable. We're talking about the loss of five police officers. We're not talking about Obamacare or Hillary 2016, we're talking about police officers that lost their lives protecting individuals that were protesting against them. There's no greater honor than what the, Dallas Cowboys, did for us. This is above politics. 
This was the greatest loss of law enforcement life since 9-11. The individual teams should have been left to decide. The PFOF president also shared support for similar league treatment like seen with military veterans and breast cancer. In the end, Dallas VP Jones said he understood the decision to deny the use of the stickers. There are tons of things out there that need to be recognized. Once you open that Pandora's box, how do you ever stop? He said. I have boycotted everything NFL during last year's season. When a business won't let a team wear a sticker honoring fallen police officers but lets a player wear socks depicting police officers as pigs and not stand during the national anthem, then you know that isn't the right thing to watch and spend your hard-earned money on. If Facebook can suspend us conservatives on a daily basis for stating our points of view on their platform and no one can say anything because they are a private company, then the NFL can dictate what their employees can and can't do. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments.